Men's is being sponsored by the color blue today. While Bali is being sponsored by the color red. The two companies have always had feuds with each other. And we're going to take it out in the crypt today. And there's our seed for both of our racers. It's the same. So no early seed variants, lol. Oh, I have, still, I have Splunky running still. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. <laughs> and uh, we'll be off shortly here. Oh, I couldn't have done it right when the music switched. Come on, my production value. Please. Whoa, whoa. No, are you kidding? I blame basing. Blame the Penguin Nation. The penguins were making fun of robots earlier today, and now the bot's gone. <laughs> okay, so... Yep, they're, they're Rip Botterino. <laughs> okay, so technical difficulties. Guess we'll hang out for a little bit. <laughs> Until we get the bot fixed. Oh, it looks like it's back already. So we'll get a new seed for our racers. <laughs> That's amazing, Ekum. I will copy pasta that. <laughs> Alright, there's the new seed. The bot blacked out for a little bit. And the reason they have to get a new seed is because the bot won't count down that previous seed. So. Good morning! We got oh no! Good morning, thank you for the follow. I need to turn those off. So no one was ready for this. <laughs> Alright. Alright, this should be off. Notifications are now off. Fairly certain. Alright, but we got our next seat here. We're ready to go. We're ready to race. Both our racers are off. Speed Frog, thank you for the follow. All right, early black, uh, early potion it looks like for, ooh, and a ham. So we're gonna get some uh, extra value from that bomb. We're gonna open up that rat trap and then uh, get the ham too, along with the potion. So a good find for Bali. Minz is gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna save that bomb, perhaps. Or just do the thing on the opposite side. I believe Minz's skin is some type of Pokemon. I don't know Pokemon that well, so <laughs> I don't know which. It's a rare arctic parrot. And uh, Bali is just sporting the regular Cadence skin. The OG. Both of our racers are getting that ham and potion. So we're going to see a lot of health regen early on here. One involuntary, one voluntary. Both of our racers going different directions on this one, too. It looks like Bali's going to find their Dark Minotaur first, though. Smashing into that bat. And Minz was part of uh, Season 6 of Condor, so Minz has definitely uh, more racing experience than I know of. Uh, I have never seen Bali race before, so this should be interesting. For sure. Interests will be had. Bali is down to 1-3 first. Neither of our racers found their chest or... Uh, Blood shop in a uh, one two. Ooh, a shrine of peace though on one three, right next to a trap door. We'll see how Bali manipulates this. Along with the purple chest, gonna get an earth tome. Yeah, I would take the earth tome here. Uh, you already have the potion. Um, you can use the earth tome for uh, some quick kills on boss fights, whether it be deep blues or coral rift. You could zoom a strat your um, King Kanga, but you probably don't want to do that for zone one boss. But using the tome there to kill the uh, 
the Dargan. Easy kill. And Minz is going to get the... Uh, no, sorry. Bali's going to get the uh, Ring of Peace before moving on to Fortissimo, your zone 1 boss. And Minz is going all the way around in 1-3, doing the full clear. But we'll eventually see that Ring of Peace and Red Dragon. Or Shrine of Peace. Claws victory for Bali. I don't know Biggie Mac, so I'm going with the ball E. Oh, look at this run. There is a rifle in your black chest. <laughs> Hope you guys have been practicing and enter the gungeon, because we got a gun in the crypt. Min's hitting the uh, Peace Shrine, but didn't have a bomb to uh, get the, the uh, enchant scroll. But uh, while the gun's very powerful, um, you can see it taking out pretty much that entire mini boss room. Um, it's awkward to use. Uh, you have to reload it before you can actually fire. Um, if you don't have lead boots or um, some type of heavy plate, uh, you get knocked backwards when you use it, so you're getting thrown around all over the place. Looked like Minz checked the purple chest there and found a Ring of Charisma instead of taking that rifle. Uh, uses it to buy a, a base rapier, which is comparable. Um, the rifle's going to do a lot of work on your on your bosses here. You're going to see Bali load up twice. Or just needs to do it once with uh, Zone 2 Deep Blues and gets an easy kill. Minz is going to have to do a little more work with a uh, base rapier. Now, Bali deciding to take the purple chest here was probably thinking of switching back to a more normal weapon um, with the black chest there. Oh, Min's missed the flawless? Oh, that's not good. But one thing that's nice about uh, the rifle, it's doing three damage on a shot, so you can open all your barrels and chests. And with the ring of peace in tow, uh, all the mini bosses are going to be uh, low level, low tier mini bosses. That works pretty all right. Pretty okay. Min's finding a ring of regen. Mike actually going to use it right away here. Uh, taking a hit from uh, a uh, black mage, black wind mage. One thing I really like about the rifle uh, that Bali just did is uh, it has piercing. So you can shoot right through uh, riders and their horses. Feels good. Oh, and look at that shot for Bali. So right there, uh, Bali could have loaded three times below the shopkeep and shot the shopkeep three times and didn't have to use bombs there. But uh, bombs is the more comfortable kill. I'm fairly certain you can do that. Or the fear scroll, yeah. <laughs> the fear scroll is right there too. Could have let the shopkeeper live. Minz is down to deep blues. Could be handled pretty okay with this rapier. Yep, cleaning up all of those red pieces first before taking out the uh, the pawn mine. Afraid of fear scroll, yeah. I mean, it's like black and scary. I don't know. Written in a weird language. Oh, Min's getting a big upgrade for a weapon there. Finds the Obsidian Rapier, and that's going to allow Min's to catch up quite a bit here, I think. Having a movement attack weapon plus um, the lunge damage bonus on it, it's going to be able to go a lot faster through these zones. Finds a monocle, and uh, going to check out this boss shrine, I think. Probably finding a food shop in 3-3 uh, before moving down to the Zone 3 Boss Core Riff. Gets that gluttony charm. <laughs> a rifle, I guess. Yeah, it's a move attack. <laughs> it's a good point, Trevor Dactyl. Probably getting that flawless victory again. Is going to check. Going to switch off of that rifle. Going to find a rapier of their own. Of the titanium variant.
And is going to start pushing through uh, the zone far here. Needs to be careful around all these bats. Does not have a luck charm in tow. You see Bali slowing down a little bit there. And yes, we will have seed variants because of the way our uh, racers decide to deal with their Shrine Apiece in 1-3. Always got to keep that in mind. Ooh, there's an axe there for Minz. Getting trapped by a lot of uh, purple ghosts there. The monocle uh, not not being too helpful. But decides to switch to a... Okay, gonna, gonna stay on the ring region. I kind of would have liked to see the piercing switch out there because with the potion in tow, you still have a lot of health insurance. And uh, piercing is gonna allow you to take out enemies a little bit quicker. Now finding mapping with that torch of walls. There's a few different things that still affect seed variants uh, in the current build of the game. Uh, depending on when you kill your shopkeep, um, if you, how you deal with certain shrines that give different items, can mess with uh, uh, the variant, the seed. Yeah, the space shrine. The space shrine, if you take it, it'll add another room to each one of your floors. So you're going to get your variants there. A lot of different things, yeah. The Bali is going to be done with zone four here. Going on to King Kanga. Just as Minz is cleaning up Core Riff. Flawless victory for Minz. Probably going to see, uh, oh, it has the monocle, so decides to skip all those items there. Um, maybe should have gone for the bomb spell. Not having any bombs right now is kind of a detriment. But Bali's, oh, Bali takes a hit from a conga line, so no flawless victory. Going to finish King Kanga with a pulse. Doing Min's finding a dove charm, going down dove. Yeah, Conjure and Transmutes make differences, too. There, there's actually quite a few things that cause seed variants. It's pretty ridiculous. It's not as ridiculous as it used... Oh, the Teleport by Minz! Going straight to the 4-1 room. Taking a few hits on the way, but definitely a fun, fun swaggy Teleport. Um, yeah, seed variants isn't as bad as it used to be. Just by picking up the Luck Charm would cause seed variants, and then there was the whole luck is good, luck is bad uh, <laughs> argument. But that was fixed with the DLC. But Bali's putting up quite a, a lead here. I'm not entirely positive that Minz is going to be able to come back from it. Uh, Bali with the heavy plate and potion. It's going to take a lot of damage for Bali to go down. But Minz is pushing through the zone four, using that bob that that bomb goblin, bombing goblin, ba ba ba, <laughs> to uh, take out most of the enemies there. We're going down to four three. You'll see Bali hanging out on this conduit, taking out most of these enemies here, but taking a lot of electric balls in the face. Getting caught between uh, two of those gold electric mages. It's not where you want to be. And actually, Polly isn't <laughs> isn't staying on the conduit at all. <laughs> but we'll be going down to the Dead Ringer fight here. We'll see how they handle it. And we're going to have a left side spawn. Probably going to see some lure strats here, which is perfectly fine. Uh, having your opponent in zone 4 still, you do have the time to do this. It's a very safe strat. Everything is handled real easily. It's real hard to go off the rails. And you get a flawless victory for Bali. Probably looking... Uh, okay, it has three bombs. <laughs> Finds the Blast Helm anyway. And uh, has a bomb spell too. But getting pseudo-bailed by a Blast Helm, I guess. Uh, Min's lunging into that Blade Master is not going to have a flawless victory on King Kanga. One hit already down for uh, Bali on that Necrodunce. 
And Minz is going to be moving on to zone 5. Probably having a few problems with uh, these Necrodancer hits. Chasing down uh, Necrodancer each time instead of doing luring strats. Luring strats are kind of awkward to learn, but once you do get them down, it makes this Necrodancer fight a lot safer. There, There's a good lure by Bali there. But sometimes you just get bad teleports and you just kind of have to deal with it. And there's, there's the kill. Bali's gonna take this first race of the set over Min's. 12.45 race time, 12.30 in-game. Sounds about right. GG's. Yes, you can actually kill Dorian really quick with <laughs> with uh, the Blast Helm. It's a good time. All right, we got our next seed in, and we'll get this match continued for race two. Let's do it. Start the countdown. Hopefully the bot doesn't take a break again. The bot has been taking too many breaks this week. Let's we'll start looking for a new bot. All right, we're going. Early black chest, it's probably gonna be garbage, but we'll check it anyway, because you never know. One one black chests usually don't have uh, good items in it. You're gonna find your base weapons most of the time, but every once in a while you get uh, some boots or chain mail. <laughs> I'm not breaking the bot, I'm not the one racing. Ooh, Bali taking a hit from that Dire Bat. It's going to go down to half health. Early stack of bombs in 1-2, along with your red chest, which is going to have a Nazar charm. We aren't going to have to worry about the game being fair and balanced with those whites and poltergeists coming in out of nowhere. Minz is going to have to do a dangerous dance here with the red dragon. Those uh, blue bats are cooperating, though. Both of our racers doing a four square dance here. Well done. And Minz is going to spend the time here to get the Leprechaun. Looks like Bali is going to do the same thing. Ooh, Bali doing some uh, Leprechaun milking, though. Getting a little bit of extra money. And that's a pretty all right shot for uh, Minz there. Going to pick up the Blast Helm for three more bombs. Plus uh, the Blast Helm. <laughs> And Bali sees that too, goes straight for the shop, gonna pick up the same thing. Probably gonna, yeah, eat that carrot as well. And you can see how milking the leprechaun really helped Bali out um, because they're able to buy each item in that shop. Ooh, Min's taking a hit from that dark minotaur. Going down to half a heart. So this is a, um, on Deep Blues here, Min's could have just thrown the dagger and use the Blast Helm to finish it off, but um, this works just fine too. Bali using that Blast Helm to get four damage off of that Dark Mantar real quick. We're gonna see the Black Chest. What's in the Black Chest? Ooh, it's an Obsidian Rapier, so a really nice weapon to go fast. We'll see how our racers perform with it. Bali doing a little more efficient kill there on Deep Blues. Ooh, a monster shopkeep too, so Minz is going to get some health back with that cheese and going to pass up on all those blood weapons. Oh, the dragon coming straight through. Really nice find for uh, Minz, and same thing is going to happen for Bali too. Ooh, and Minz taking an excellent shortcut through the shop here. Going to pick up uh, the ring of regen and going to be taken right to the mini boss. Looks like Bali is doing some uh, screen watching here, so they know which way to go as well through the shop. Ben's going to check this shop too. Uh, probably, yeah. I was going to say, we don't really need to check that black chest because we already know that um, you have a weapon you want. 
And now you don't have any money to conjure, so... Now you're dealing with that problem. But, uh, looks like, uh, Bali's going to farm up here and get that battle shovel. Really good pickup. It's a tier 2 shovel. Min's going down to a purple mushroom, though. Getting cornered. Um, kind of digging themselves into their own little death tunnel there. And Bali finds a potion here on 2-2. Two, two as well. Is this 2-3? This is 2-3. Using that blast helm again to get... A nice tasty potion. Oh my gosh, that laser from the dragon scaring Bali all the way back to that cheese. That was quite the snipe laser. That was all the way off screen. <laughs> Bali getting a little caught up by a bounce trap there maybe, but that can... Okay, so that may have not killed Bali, but that really shakes up your confidence. You're like, oh, I'm down to half a heart and now I'm scared of everything, so... I'm sure Bali can recover just fine from it uh, as we battle Fortissimal here, the Unholy Moly. And Min's getting taken out by that dragon, that red dragon. And Bali has a pretty good build already here uh, with that Ring of Regen, the OBS Rapier, maybe looking for some spells and armor. Let me find a bomb spell. Using that Transmute Tome really well here on 3-1. Going to get a shield spell and uh, some ham. Going to pass on the cookies. Might as well just transmute them all, huh? Transmutes the cookies for a coupon. They were paper cookies. And we'll be continuing through this zone three. It finds a trap door going down to three two. Should be able to shield spell up here and uh, take out this blue dragon. All Mins get some revenge on the red dragon here on one two. Well, he's gonna take this time to do some shopping. And finds a really nice locked shop here. It has some extra health in it and uh, the uh, Weapon charm, but Bali doesn't have enough money to get any of it, so feels feels uh feels poor, man. <laughs> Thought about farming up some money there, but it's just gonna bail out to uh three three. You'd kill for that shop seat. Now here here's an argument to be had where Bali's three zones ahead. Still hasn't killed their shopkeep. Can uh, take all the time to slow play. And uh, you want to keep your shopkeep alive in that situation, right? So you can uh, have all the opportunity for items. Uh, with the Blast Helm, all, what it is, is just an instant bomb use around you. Um, so it's real easy to do. It, it gives you an iframe as well afterwards, so you can just uh, bomb twice on the shopkeep right next to him, and then you hit him in the face. Just like that Minotaur hit Min's in the face. Feels feels Minotaur, man. <laughs> Min's having some difficulty here with uh, Zone 1 bosses after that Zone 2 mushroom death. Bali going to pass up on that Ring of War, opting to keep the uh, Ring of Regen here, which is which is a good choice. Uh, this will allow them to, you know, stay alive, <laughs> which is really all you're trying to do here now that you're uh, four zones ahead of your opponent. Just want to finish the run nice and easy. Yeah, the Blast Helm also makes you immune to all other bomb explosions, so like, in zone four, zone four here, the goblin bomb bombers don't do anything to you anymore. Uh, the the gargoyles that blow up won't do anything to you anymore. So it, it's re it's a really nice uh, helm item to pick up. It's one of the uh, top two or three helm items you can get. Bali remembering their spells exist and using a shield spell to take out that mini boss room. Finds the big dig. 
does not have enough money. Gonna switch out for some chainmail. Over the quartz armor. Which I guess is another really heated argument on what's better. That I don't really understand, so I'm just gonna pick quartz. <laughs> Probably finding some more bombs in zone four here is really good. It's like having nine panic buttons. And there Minz gets the blast helm himself. Gonna use it immediately to buy this carrot. Blowing up the uh, shopkeeper wall for all the money. And now 12 bombs. Bali trying to contend with Chef Mayhem with most bombs per run. I think Chef Mayhem finished with 25 yesterday. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Yo, that ring of mana, though. Yeah, you kill for that. I think Bali forgot they had the uh, shield spell there. Waft a potion, it looks like. Doesn't take the ring of mana, though. I don't know if I like that. I would take the uh, mana there. Having mana shield plus a mana fireball, it's really strong. Uh, Ring of Mana will double your spell's effectiveness, so uh, Ring of, or uh, the Shield spell will be twice as long, and your Fireball does twice as damage. And all the monkeys are swarming Bali over here in this four three. Min's going on a long walk with the Dark Minotaur through uh, the crypt. Does end up killing him. Isn't it two times damage? Eight totally equals three times two. <laughs> Necromath is always correct. Yeah, the mana fireball uh, does eight damage instead of three. You guys are correct. Schools for fools. <laughs> but Bali is in zone 5 here. This time staying on the conduit, taking out all their enemies. Gonna get these extra bombs on the way. Count is now at 14. Minz with a flawless victory on Deep Blues is gonna get that Obsidian Rapier back out of that black chest. Thank you very much. Very fast weapon. And there's a good fireball kill on uh, the Metronome. <laughs> there you go, Emu. Yeah, yeah, that's the Necromath. Bali, uh, being three zones ahead here, isn't forced to take those trap doors. Can just clear out this floor. Looks for a food shop, but it's a pawn shop. And using a delayed shield spell there, gets hit by the beholder before uh, um, using the shield spell. But good use of it anyway better than just taking the hit and continuing on. And we're going to have another metronome fight here and we're down to dead ringer. A left side spawn. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to see lure strats again here from Bali. It was double rider though makes it a little awkward. Takes a hit from dead the dead ringer. The dead ringer and now we're off the rails. Min's down to 2-3. Going into the shop to buy the battle shovel. I'm going to conjure some uh, armor here. Getting a uh, some light plate. Squag a suit. And here Bali gets the uh, kill on Dead Ringer. Using a bomb to blow up the uh, ogre bell. And we're on to the Necrodancer fight. Bali looking to take race two of this match. I think Bali's really looking to get a 3-0 and here. Um, that'll take them to six points, which should keep them in competition for uh, this weekend. Getting two hits on the Necrodancer. Their shield has already run out. See, what Bali's doing here is chasing the Necrodancer down. Um, they could have just retreated back one space and uh, the Necrodancer would have been lured to where Cadence was and it would have been a, a quicker hit. 
but this works too. It's just a little more dangerous. One more hit on the Necrodancer and we'll be done. Min's taking out the Unholy Moly. Flawless victory. And that's good for Bali. Taking this 2-0, 1318 in-game, 1332 race time. Give them that loot. Um, there's probably a video on lure strats. Uh, if anyone has it, you could um, feel free to link it in chat. Um, also, if you look up, uh, Jack of Games has a mod you can download off of the Steam. Uh, what's it called? The Steam thing. I'm, I'm looking at the <laughs> Steam Workshop where uh, you can practice against Dead Ringer and the Necrodancer. Necrotome does have Dead Ringer lures. Okay. Yeah, there's an image to Steam Work a thing. Let me see if I can find an image. Isn't there like rules and resources for Necrodancer? This is how to stream Necrodancer. Yeah, if anyone has that, feel free to post it up. Yeah, Sir Waffles has it. Yeah, that, okay, so if you look at what Sir Waffles just linked there, um, if Cadence is in the green, then the Necrodancer will jump towards you. If you're in the red, it'll jump away from you. But we're on to our third race here. Both of our racers finding an early bomb. That's really nice to get here. Cracked wall two, will we see our first blood shop of this match, perhaps? Yes, we will. And what's inside of it? What's inside of it? It's a garbage shop. <laughs> gonna pick up the uh, Torch of Foresight, though, and the Apple. We're gonna be back to full health for Bali. We'll see if Minz does the same. Early Conjurer as well on this 2-1, or 1-2, but we're gonna pass up on that because we don't have any money. And here's where that extra bomb is gonna come in real handy here because Bali can now get that Ring of Regen off of... The, uh, blood shrine there and Mintz did a little extra exploring in um on the one one here and found a pulse spell in a purple chest so that's a really good find early on trap doors are going to be super easy now oh the gi Bali's down to one three first finds a vault what's inside there looks like a crossbow and I guess that's an obsidian crossbow, so we're we're not really gonna blow the vault up for that. Crossbow is even more awkward to use than a rifle is. Means using that pulse spell really well there. Take out their mini boss. Bali's gonna take on this red dragon around all these bounce traps. Skeletons coming in. This is looking a little awkward. Might just jump down the trap door here. Looks like they handled it just fine, though. Taking out the dragon here in the sixth space. Two by six. Ooh, and look at the shot for Minz. Minz, you gotta attack down when you do that. You can't just let him hit you. Bummer. Bad death by Minz there. Missing a heavy plate, a curd shovel. I didn't see what the third item was, though. Bali's down to your coral rift fight. Going to use a dagger throw strat plus a bomb for the easy kill. Check the black chest for a better weapon. Titanium flail was in there. All right. Finds an obsidian longsword, so a nice safe weapon. You're not going to go too fast with it, but it's pretty safe. Speaking of obsidian, our overlay just switches to obsidian as well. <laughs> yes, that is exactly. It's a catch-up kind of shop. Um, Minz will be, might, probably gonna go straight back to that shop again and get some revenge on the shopkeeper there. Absolutely needs to catch up. Bali gonna check this level 3 cracked wall. It's always the pawnbroker, never the food shop. This is learned in Necrodancer 101. <laughs> catch up shop. <laughs> Let's make like french fries. Catch up, haha. Probably finding some more bombs here in zone two. Zone two is the zone 
for the bombs. You're going to find your most bombs in Zone 2. And all the secret rooms that are generated here. Probably going to check out this black chest, see what's inside. As this blood nightmare comes on in. It's a titanium whip. We're going to do a hard pass. What's Min's doing wrong on this on the shopkeeper kill? Another death by Min's. You bomb twice, you go up, and then you attack down. It feels bad, man. You gotta attack the shopkeeper. But Fortissimo's down to, uh... Bali. <laughs> Fortissimo's dead. Falls victory. We're gonna see a purple chest get. And it's a shield spell, so more defense for Bali. Real good. Oh, or yeah, <laughs> uh, Reiji has a uh, correct answer for that too. You pulse twice, then you're good to go. But unfortunate death by Minz here. I think it's going to be too much for a Minz to catch up here now, unfortunately. So we're going to see some more slow play by uh, uh, Bali. Checking the shops here. And we'll be moving on through the script at a leisurely pace. All right, Bali's gonna be going down to three, two. Cleaning up that mini boss little area. Finds a purple chest. Has a freeze tome in it. So that'll be nice for uh, the next two mini bosses. I'm sorry, uh, actual bosses. Or as a panic button, either would work. It does have that shield spell in tow too. Yay, Minz did it! Huzzah! Finally gets that shop destroyed. I think that's the thing. Yay! <laughs> Now we'll see Min start to move a little bit here. Uh, probably wants to get off this flail though. Gonna get caught up. I don't think Min's knows that this is a vault. Min's is trying to open this. It's 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 a vault. Okay, well, uh, Min's is gonna get this crossbow here, perhaps. Now the dragon's not gonna be moving up, and Min's is like, what the crap's happening right now? <laughs> and then, oh, it's a vault. <laughs> yeah, Minz is just gonna run away from that. That's amazing. <laughs> Alright, Bali taking on King Kanga here, zone three boss. Blows him up off the stage. The horrors are revealed, that's right. Claws victory for uh, Bali. Gonna check the purple chest here. Uh maybe maybe red chest. Let's see what Bali chooses here. Yep, purple chest. As a gold ring, we're not doing a score run, so we don't need that. Min's getting a flawless victory there. He's going to check purple for a free spell. That's a really nice spell to go fast as well. We'll start popping it off, especially with that uh, ring of regen. You can use the blood magic on that free spell. So pretty much enter a room, freeze, kill what you need, move on. If you need to freeze again, it's fine. You'll get that health back on the next floor from the ring of regen. So it's pretty nice. Now you can see the flail causing Min's a bit of a problem here, getting caught up on all these enemies. But gonna take out the leprechaun here for the ring, of, uh, the uh, luck charm, before moving down to two two. Looks like Bali found a rat. Put it in the correct position on the right. Feels good. He's going to be motoring through zone 4 here, taking out all the enemies. And Minz is down to your zone 2 boss. Trying to play some catch up here. Uh, if Bali continues to do a lot of slow play, there might be a chance, but... 
Minz is gonna have to push real hard for it, and Bali's gonna have to push real slow, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Min's getting the purple chest there with uh, that shield spell. And there's a good use of the freeze, opening up that door right away and uh, seeing an enemy, but unfortunately it was too far away from a lot of the other enemies to make a difference there. But that's kind of the idea. You break on through to your uh, your mini boss room, pop the freeze, and keep going. The Minz is getting very lost in this 3-1. Probably finding a grenade charm. Gonna have 11 grenades now. Time to breach and clear. Probably gonna use the right rat to take out this ogre. Using a shield to be extra careful. Down to one heart. Down completely. Bali getting destroyed by that blade master. Now Minz is coming in here with a, a quite the hefty lead, but forgetting that they murdered the shopkeeper. <laughs> Had to go pay tribute to their uh, their dirt grave. Unfortunate death by Bali over there though. Could have just went past that blade master to the exit. And Minz is looking real safe here too with that heavy plate ring of regen. Some defensive spells. I mean, the flail's arguably pretty defensive too. It's gonna be super awkward come uh, zone four. So we'll see if Minz tries to switch off here on the zone three boss. Ah, oh, this remix is so good. Chipsel is a fantastic soundtrack. Worth the DLC buy alone. Oh, Minz transmuting for a uh, Blast Helm. Really good get here. And is going to switch weapons here. Finds an Obsidian Flail. There's a weapon you want to take. The uh, Titanium Rapier is going to allow for some comfortable play by Minz here. And there's a good freeze by Minz. Should pop the uh, Shield Spell here too. Deal with all these Clappas. Finds an Obsidian Rapier, even. And I, I kind of like the choice here of Minz keeping the Titanium Rapier. Um, with all the hits Minz has been taking, the drop beats, the, the two damage um, of the Titanium tier is going to be a little more beneficial, I think, than the Obsidian. Minz taking a hot dog hit. Trying to figure out how to take out this King Kanga, but... Um, is forgetting the order of you want to freeze and then bomb. That way King Kanga will be frozen on their chair after you bomb them, and then it'll be a quick, easy kill. But Bali is trying to push here. He's already in zone two, uh, about to go down to two, two. <laughs> Min's forgetting again that they are a murderer. <laughs> I wonder if Mince has seen the uh, the ghost shopkeep already. I I'm assuming they have because they're on 4-1 now. And then you can see right there the Blast Helm protecting Mince, which is really nice. Nice addition. Bali picking up that Luck Charm along with more bombs here. Going to be moving down to 2-3 shortly. You see Mince using that free spell really well when entering these rooms, but doesn't follow up with a shield spell. And right there, uh, doing what they should be. Uh, getting that blood freeze in. Getting the heal right afterwards. Finds a glass shop here with no armor in it. Won't want to switch off every plate, though. Probably getting a flawless victory on your zone 2 boss. Is going to find that shield spell, too. Min's being protected once again with that Blast Dome. Really good transmute by Min's there. The Crown agreed. And going down to 4-3.
Finds an arena here. Uh, probably gonna pass on everything in there. Don't really need, okay. Gonna get the wrist charm just for some added damage if we ever get down to half a heart. But at that point, it might be too late. <laughs> Taking a few hits here, even destroying the pixie could have brought health back all the way up. And there's a pixie kiss, getting our health back to three. And Min's finding that grenade charm this time around too. Going the wrong way, not looking at their minimap. It's really easy to see which direction you have to go with the minimap, but it looks like Min's is a little flustered here. But the Blast Helm is coming in super handy for Minz. Took about like five bombs in the last 30 beats here. Gonna go down to your zone four boss, it's Deep Blues, just as Bali gets down to your zone three boss. Uh, you can use your freeze here, Minz, or your shield spell. Either of them work really well. We're gonna clean up Deep Blues with that Blast Helm. And there you see Bali doing the uh, bomb and freeze correctly on King Kanga. Yeah, six damage blast zone was really good. Bali doing some more shopping here. Finds that rat that caused Bali problems earlier. And Minz is going to be going down to 5-2. That Ring of Regen doing a lot of heavy lifting here, too. Always keeping him at three hearts. Minz checking uh, the wrong directions here, looking for that exit. Finds it immediately, freezing that Dark Minotaur. Well done. Down to 5-3. Bali about to go down to 4-2, it might... Uh, Bali's gonna be looking for a Min's death here, I'm thinking. Which is always possible. But uh, Heavy Plate's really nice. The Ring of Regen, like I was saying, is doing tons of work here. Have an Earth Dragon to deal with. We're gonna freeze and uh, take out all the adds before taking out the dragon. And we're down to uh, Min's first Dead Ringer fight of the match. We'll see how Min's attacks this. It's a right side spawn. Looks like we're gonna do lure strats. And Bali's down to 4-3. Looking to get that flag plant a little closer to where Minz is at. Minz getting a flawless vic uh, well, a, uh, a victory, not flawless. But Minz is on to the Necker Dancer fight. Has those grenades, needs to remember you have grenade. Oh wait, has a blast. Blast Elm. Never mind. Minz is doing it correct. GG, Minz. Good work. <laughs> Popping that shield before going into phase two. And uh, we should be wrapping up this Necker Dancer fight relatively simply here for Minz. Already got two hits on the Necker Dancer. Bali has made it back to zone five, though. Necker Dancer's at half health. Min's being extra careful not to take any Necker Dancer bombs. They hurt a lot. Although Blast Helm would mitigate it, so it's all right. Just making sure that uh, Dorian's extra safe. One more hit on the Necker Dancer, and there it is for Min's. Gonna take one point off of Bali. Give him that loot. All right, GG's all around for our racers here. And that's gonna be it for me. Thank you everyone for joining me for that conduit match.